guys and welcome to the mini toy love channel today i have another five nights at freddy's video for you guys i am finally finishing my funko series 2 collectible figure set with nightmare bonnie and then i have some other fun toys to open we have the mcfarland buildable of nightmare we have some blind bags a dangler a my emoji a funko uh what are they called these cute little little things pine size heroes there you go and then a bonnie funko pop so there you go. We'll finally finish our Nightmare on and back and take a look at the whole Nightmare series. First up, let's start with our Pine Size Hero. I am still on the hunt for Foxy, and it's been a long hunt at that. <laughs> so let's see who we get. <gasps> yes, it is Foxy. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. They even have his little teeny tiny hook right there. So well worth the wait. He's a, only a 1 in 12 odd, but it took me forever to find him. These are awesome. I absolutely love the Pint Size Heroes, and I hope they make another series of them. So, yay. Really happy about that, guy. And time to build something with our cool McFarlane buildable. I'm really excited for the new ones, especially the sister location ones coming out. So this is Nightmare with the Right Hall, and it says, Buildable set includes the bone-chilling Nightmare figure, the desk, and lamp. Okay, so here's the set all put together. I do like how the table can snap into the base piece. That's pretty cool. It has the lamp. And then you have Nightmare, which they did a really good job. He has the double layer of teeth. The teeth go all the way around the head, making it super creepy. You can lift the head up. You can actually change out the heads too, which is pretty cool. But I like that, that detailing back. I like it lifted. And then it also has the teeth stomach. <laughs> And the claws. And these make for really cool minifigures in general too. Nice. And he can stand. So yet again, a really cool little buildable set. I think these little mini sets are my favorite. And I can't wait for new ones. Awesome. Next, let's take a look at our Funko Pop of Bonnie. And at first, I wasn't sure if I wanted all the characters, but they are just really cool. They translate well into the Funko Pop style. His head turns, the arms and legs do not. He's actually really heavy. They did a good job with his ears. <laughs> so, very cool. I know they're having some more exclusive figures up soon. I hope they make another series as well. They can do a lot with those. Awesome. Then we have a My Emoji Little Blind Bag. These are also made by Funko. And, oh, we have Foxy. So cute. So these are a uh, solid plastic. And they're just really neat little emoji expressions. Okay, so let's open our last blind bag so we can clear the way for our collectible figures. So here is the Dangler Series 2, which has a lot of the Nightmare characters. There are also two mystery ones, and I have no idea who those are, but they do have different odds, so pretty cool. And then let's see here. Oh cool, we have Nightmare Chica. Very cool. And for such small figures, I mean, notice they still got the, the eye color right there, the let's eat bib. And that's a new one for my collection. I like how the wire is sticking out there. Very neat. And they do stand, so you can display them nicely. And then we have Nightmare Bonnie with Nightmarion's leg. <laughs> so that's awesome. We'll get to complete that and have a look at all of the Series 2 Funko figures, which have been absolutely awesome. So here he is, and yet again, the detailing is awesome. So let's take a look at the face, the teeth, the paint job is really good. And then the exposed chest cavity, as well as the exposed hand. I like that you can actually see the different coils. Very cool. And 
and this one turns out the way. So they all did, except for Funtime Foxy. And their joints feel pretty tight. They are very poseable. They articulate at the elbows, the wrists, the shoulders, the waist, knees. Oh, his ankles don't turn. I noticed Bonnie's head, just because maybe the ears, he's a little top heavy. His head wants to tilt back like that. But very awesome. And the now Nightmarion is finally complete. And oh gosh, he's really hard to snap in. So let's see how this goes without me ripping off the arms and legs. Okay, so it took a few tries, but I got it sort of got the legs in. Could you play with Nightmarion? Absolutely not. He's gonna fall apart. But does he look <laughs> freakishly cool? Yes, yes, he does. So makes for a nice display piece. But again, um, not not very durable in the long run. So now that we're done with series two, let's take a look at the exclusive from series one. I do like the concept that you have to kind of buy all of them in order to get the exclusive figure. You get all the bits and pieces. So we have the exclusive spring trap and then Nightmare on. Let me know which ones you like the best. Um, as for me, I think I'm gonna choose spring trap. Number one, the character's awesome, but also, I mean, yeah, his joints are a little loose and the arms and legs can fall off, but I think overall he snaps together a lot better than Nightmarion. Nightmarion's really tall, so notice the size difference. So again, very cool display piece, but man, he is hard to put together and hard to stay together. But still, I hope with Series 3, who knows what the exclusive buildable will be, but that is an exciting prospect because they are awesome. So before Series 3 comes out, let's take a look at Series 1 and Series 2, and I'll go through each character side by side. So we have three Chicas. We have the Series 1, the GameStop exclusive Jacko Chica, and then Series 2, Nightmare Chica, which I love Carl and Mr. Cupcake there. They did a really good job on those. The three Freddies. So Series 1 Freddy. Golden Freddy, Nightmare Freddy, and Freddle. Then we have the Foxies, Series 1 Foxy, Nightmare Foxy, and Funtime Foxy. And then the Bonnies, so Series 1 Bonnie with his guitar and the very cool Nightmare Bonnie. So here's another look at all the toys we opened today. Do let me know which ones you like the best in the comment section below. You can also let me know what series of the Funko Action figures you liked. Were you a favorite of Series 1 or Series 2? And you can count on me covering Series 3 when they come out, as well as on my toy hunts. So whether you're just stopping by for some Five Nights at Freddy's or if you're a subscriber to my channel, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.